see dead people. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the like button if you like the video. I gotta say that because y'all see my channel. It'd be drier than Jesus' feet on water. You feel what I'm saying? So anyway, Adam22. This ain't really no roast or nothing. <laughs> Lizzo and left the comment section. Anyway, this ain't no roast or nothing like that. Adam22 is just weird. Satan makes you feel good? The vibes. I don't know how... He infiltrated hip hop or whatever. Well, I do interviews and then he seen that some stuff go viral and the shock reaction. And he just manipulated us into the system. And we've seen these type of people before. These people who play with the devil. You know what I'm saying? Right. Adam was fucking girls. That was the same age as me when I was 16. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? All right. First of all, his dad was a mason. Anyway, <laughs> he is bona fide Illuminati. These type of people are Hollywood. And we all know the stuff that go on behind closed doors. Some P. Diddy type is, you know what I mean? And all types of itch. Now, the thing that I don't trust is you can't trust people. Like, when you see his show, all you get is Slave Master vibe. This is 100% mass aware. Attached with a whip in the back, probably come with trucker boots and everything. What the hell was he thinking when he put this on? Nobody wears this but him. Obviously, his mentality is, fuck with the African Americans, apparently, because you already know we're going to trip out. This ain't even no gear. You feel what I'm saying? He hired the locals. You know, Adam 22 is a Drake. He a fan. He a freaky ass nigga. Mm -hmm. Freaky ass. Yes, he's a fan. And on 22, he got his allegations, stuff like that, but I ain't even look. We already, that shit been exposed for years. It's the fact that he hired gang members. We all know what gang members represent to the black community. We all know that they destroy each other, destroy, like, terrorize the community and feel me. All that, oh, we started to protect ourselves from the white people. Yeah, that shit was like in 1870. So, like, that shit is over with. You feel me? Now we just destroy each other. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, spit like, like literally specifically each other. It ain't even like, well, you could watch my when I joined a gang stories. Yes, I got my gang stories when I got my ass whipped in and got my ass whipped out. Because all we was doing was ass whipping each other. Hey, we ain't even have no ops for real. And this is Philly. I don't even know where the gang stuff anyway. Yeah, yeah. That, that shit would know. That's comedic. You know what I mean, I'll talk about me getting stumped down in there. They beat my ass like a slave. I should have known something was up when your so-called friends is whipping your ass into a friendship organization of organized, unorganized crime. I didn't know at the time what I was really doing, selling my soul to the real devil. The one who, those rules that govern on like, like envy, strife, hatred, greed, like stealing and all the, the disrespecting the whole, I mean, Ten Commandments of the damn Bible and the whole Quran and stuff, just disrespecting all. That, that is what govern, those rules of breaking, the rules of gangs is to break the rules. It's like, I, I, I should have known something was up. So anyway, I finally, I'm joining the game. To join the game, they whipped my ass, beat my ass. We drove into the middle of the schoolyard so the whole world could see everything. But anyway, gang members, right? They destroy our communities and everything. No offense, not all of y'all, not you specifically, but you know what you represent. Your organization started out serving people, then the people become servants of the organization. Like, nobody want to really join the gang anyway. I ain't even going to talk about it. I ain't going to talk about it. Just watch the series. But anyway... Adam-22 hire these people, right? Now, we know that type of energy. We know that it's nothing but drama. We know that they use in shock value to keep our attention. But when you got people snitching on each other. Hey, homies. Hey, go drop that check off to my little homie, nigga. Oh, look, but she get bad for each other ass, Constantly on the show. Snitching on each other for no damn reason. Hey, nigga, I got more murders than you got squabbles. Oh, in the hood, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Nigga got more skulls than you got squabbles in the set. Bitch, in the hood, nigga. Before, hey, you and I got more skulls than you got squabbles. Telling the 
us about they, you know, gang and tributes and what they did to get on and what they did in the hood and what they did. And it's not uplifting nobody. It's not helping nobody. And a RICO is coming. Uh, the RICO statute is a, a very effective tool that federal prosecutors use in any cases involving quote unquote organized crime. And that doesn't simply mean what many people think of traditionally as organized crime, um, meaning the mafia. We know a RICO is coming. Think about it. You're using YouTube, you know what I mean, and your porn, you know, to, to, to fund these gang members that's in the society except for Poetic Faco. And they use that money. Let's just say they selling drugs on the side. It's over with. Because you're supporting that. It's a, it's a Rico coming to something. You know what I'm saying? We are we, we we know you a fan already. You feel what I'm saying? We see that you you're like like how you get your money and we see how you manipulate the system. We see how you just use hip hop for like recklessness. And then we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. We don't know what you really represent. What's your religion or what you stand for or nothing. You feel good? The vibes. What what is the Satan? It's vibe? like a porcelain like Satan head. Why do you have that? Zach from FTP gave it to me. Zach from FTP gave it to me. Why did he give it to you? Because we are brothers of the same mind that we like devil shit. Because we are brothers of the same mind that we like devil shit. Because we are brothers of the same mind that we like devil shit. Most powerful people follow a secret religion. You've never heard of it because they've all sworn oaths of silence. If a member of their cult breaks the oath, he gets punished with a terrible death. Because we are brothers of the same mind that we like devil shit. We see that you be dressed like a K, like a KKK member, like you see this. And I mean, look damn near full-blown mass adult. You feel what I'm saying? And these niggas still work for them. You feel me? They snitch on like, like eventually it's just like they're the, going to get caught up. That's plain and simple. So as I watch this. I would never let them say something about me. I would never respond to these people. They're like they got people like Suge Knight, not many Suge, many Suge Knight. You know what I mean? AKA, you already know who the devil himself. You feel me? I ain't even gonna say his name on here because as soon as you say his name, it's gonna be over with. Like, and he knows how to manipulate. They be using that fifty nine forty eight laws of power and shit. You know what I'm saying? They they got five thousand laws of power by now. They know they know ins and outs of everything. They know how they using people. They know how they just you know what I mean causing reckless. They they be talking about how easy it is to make a call and get somebody killed. And you think the FBI ain't watching? You know what I mean? And then they all I, I operate in L.A. Soon as I hear L.A., I I I, I be A.L. You feel me? You know my, my, my ass is leaving. <laughs> So I don't even trust LA. LA, the gang politics, the destruction and all that. And we watch Adam 22 and we just be watching this shit and just like, what is going on? What y'all snitching on today? Because it's stuff we don't even care about. You feel what I'm saying? It's stuff you, I think Adam, like they specifically should just stay in LA. You know what I'm saying? They should just call it LA, LA Adam 22 LA. Because I don't want nothing, like we don't want to part, be a part of this no more. The foolishness that go on in this, people get shot. You know what I mean? You're working for him and his men, which exposed Adam 22 to me, right? With the fact that he was cool with this boy named House Phone. They so cool that he want to expose the fact that House Phone slept with a tranny. You feel what I'm saying? So now it's like you got you exposing your homie for content. That means you're using them for money. Which me and now you you wondering why this nigga got it and he works there he works for you so it's like how do you get away with it like even at like what type of sh is that so anyway then they interview the trend it's like oh no nah, throw me a box you know what I mean because you are, you gonna end up in a coffin there ain't no way in hell you gonna sit up there with it so it's like yo and then he was still cool still trying to work with him and everything shit just got weird then they got people on there getting shot and getting their ass whipped like it's like not even worth it at the end of the day what is Adam twenty two what is the show. What is it about other than interviewing other gang members and then they wind up going back to their society and destroying us, regular people who can't walk on? Oh, we got a, a P on the head. My P stands for Philly. They up there know that's pause. You know what I mean? I ain't got time for that. People is dying over colors like bleach. The fuck is you doing? Like, what is the point at the end of the day? You just supporting the gang. Like, gang, gang culture and everything is just destroying our people, man. And we know this, but he's not our people because he's not like us. Do we even think about the, these words? Yo, Kendrick Lamar reigns supreme. 
because he, his lyrics is really just getting into every avenue of this system. And he really is said, like, it is getting exposed in 2024. But anyway, what's your thoughts on Adam 22, man? Give me your, leave a comment in the comment section below, please. I don't give a damn what you say. You can say ever, ever fucking do. I don't give a damn what you say. Just say something to get some audience retention, get these videos up there. But I'm curious, what do you see when you watch this shit other than the drama? They start drama on their show and make content of it. That's basically it. They not really, I don't know what, like, what, who career they starting. Because every time they start a career, they end it themselves. So it's not, you can't even trust these people. So I just want to know, what y'all think of this nigga? What y'all think? Do he belong in hip hop? Yes or no? You feel what I'm saying? Something like that. I don't know what I'm talking about this video. I hope I ain't been promoting some damn deodorant. You know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, man. I'm out there like a belly button. Peace. The way that these people think is they use, like, we are useless. They ain't trying to reduce the population. They're trying to, you know what I mean? Like, their, their agenda is a little much. But it, the fact of the matter is, people like that are not supposed to, they can't expose that they're part of some brotherhood or something like that anyway. And there, he's using hip-hop to literally destroy yourself while he bank off of it and he's able to bounce. Like, these people use us and you and, your, and manipulate you no matter what way because your attention is nothing but money to them. You know what I mean? Paying attention. So anyway, it's just like, yo, man, they use us for attention and it's kind of becoming super manipulative and see-through and transparent and we can literally see what's going on. And it's getting weird. And it's like, why? Psst. I see.